time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of TCGO Battles. Today we are taking on the Curious Cleffa in a revenge match as we head into our second match with our Young Mega Break deck. So if you guys are hyped and ready for this next match, make sure to hit that like button because it is greatly appreciated, not just for me, but for Curious Cleffa as well. Uh, I will be leaving a link in the description for Curious Cleffa, and I don't recall if I did say that for Maito for the previous episode, but of course I left a description and their YouTube channel for you guys to check it out. So make sure to do that for both Mido and uh, Curious Cleffa. Now we are going to get right into this match, we're going to send that good old um, invitation for battle, and we're going to see if we can take ourselves another win! Uh, this deck is very fun. Very different from a lot of decks because you are given a few different strategies that you can kind of build. Um, but you really have... The, the key to being able to take this one as a victory one is knowing when to let go of, say, Young Mega to switch into the Vespa Queen. Or if to let... Well, if to keep uh, Spinarak and Ariados around. We're going to go for the heads on this coin toss. We are going to get a tail, so we are going to lose this one. Curious Cleffa is going to be able to go first here. Now, as far as I remember, they are playing Superior, so we are not going to have... We have no Pokemon in our hand that we can use, so we unfortunately give them a Mulligan, which is fine. Uh, so both of us will be benefiting from uh, Force of Giant Plants. So once it is down, it's down for good. We have a Yanma here. Uh, here's hoping we can get ourselves going. Good luck, Curious Clef. I wish you the best here. Um... And there is a Spinarak lead. Unfortunately, Spinarak doesn't mean much for me. I uh, I don't get poisoned, so if I can battle compress both Spinarak and Ariados out of the deck before I have to draw them, that's going to be amazing. It's going to be extra damage for Vespa Queen later in the game. We see a Bridget, which is going to net her three basic Pokemon. Probably going to be three Snivvies. As I do believe she is playing the fast superior. Gets the Remoraid as well, which is a fantastic card. Um, I have switched that deck over and I am using Shamans now in my superior deck, and I do find it does run a little faster. But it is a very. Octillery is a much cheaper way of playing. And again, we're, she'll be able to get Octillery going turn two, uh, so there really won't be too much of a. A negative there. Uh, we see a professor's letter looking for that important grass energy and we do see that. Grabs two grass energy. One should go on to a snivy as it does. The question is did they get that very important? No they did not get the stadium. So we are gonna get the ability to go for a force of giant plants here. I'm gonna go for a battle compressor. And like I said, my first immediate reaction is to get rid of these, because I do not need them in the deck. And I think my next play is to get rid of one of the Vespa Queens. This way I have the ability to... No, I can be a Seeker into an end, which might be better. Do I not have an... No, I have a Sycamore. So I'm going to actually opt to getting an end into that discard pile. Uh, it'll give me a bunch more cards. I'll be able to set. I'm gonna probably sacrifice a uh, Professor Sycamore in order for me to, or sorry, a Via Seeker in order for me to get a Omega, just so that I can go right into the break if I happen to draw one. Uh, with that as well, I could have gone for a Shaman early game. I didn't think of that till just now, so that might have been an opt. But I'm gonna go for a Via Seeker, grab that, and. And we are going to refresh our hand right now. So there we go. We know we're shuffling one of Curious Cleffa's energies back in. We do get a few things that are very important. Uh, I can get a Vespa Queen up with a nice setup here. Boom. And I'm going to opt to Ultra Ball, removing the Vespa Queen and the AZ. And I will opt to get a Shaman this time. So a Shaman is going to come up. Going to... Play, said Shaman, and I'll be able to grab six more cards, hoping to get that Young Mega Break, and maybe one other card so I can actually knock out an early card. I do get two nice cards, and I'm going to hold off on just going all out here. So Young Mega Break comes out, I am going to go for a Yama Drop, 
and I am going to go for the Barrier Break, because I am now going to be able to knock out the Spinarak, I'm going to claim my first prize here, and there we go, we have put so much pressure on my opponent already, we are in a much better position. Um, a superior can only do 40 damage to me. Now, yes, uh, they'll be able to knock me out, but if I can get rid of that draw engine soon, that will be great too. Um, I'm just double checking on my little kitty cat. Normally, I don't have her in the office when I'm recording, but I'm giving her a nice little test drive. If you guys can see her, say hi, Luna. Hi. I don't know if she can see you guys. Uh, we see a Servine, so she's going to go for the Paralysis, and she does get it. I don't know why these things keep popping up on me. Uh, that is a little distasteful, but nothing I can do. It does happen. Uh, if I get a BS Seeker, I can AZ it up, as I did sacrifice the AZ, but there are two BS Seekers in the bench right now. Gets a heads on the birch, so be able to get seven cards. Uh, putting up a valiant effort here, looking for that superior. Benefiting from the force of giant plants here, going for an Ultra Ball, and that will net her the superior, though I would probably go for the Octillery at this point. Knowing that I cannot attack might be the better play. Discards the Lysander and the Birch, and goes for the superior! Most likely looking to get that Coil attack off, which is going to be good, because I can't attack it. I do need to get a particular card to get that Young Mega Break out of there. Though in all truth, it's not the end of the world if I lose my first Young Mega Break. We get a coil off. I apologize about this, guys. Alright, so we are going to go... I didn't get what I'm looking for, but that is actually okay. I'm going to opt to keep it. I'm going to go for a Combi here. I'm going to go for your Young Mega Drop, I'm going to drop a Double Colorless Energy, a Bursting Balloon, so if, if for whatever reason they do, she does go for the attack, I'm going to have, she's going to have to take 60 damage. And this is in a great position for me, as she is in range to knock me out, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on her. So we're going to claim those five new cards, I do have a Judge in my hand, I ain't worried about it. Uh, I'm actually going to opt to Lysander in the uh, Bremerate. I'm going to have to force her to get into a nice turn, and that is going to end the Omega Break uh, Paralysis here, which is very nice. I should be able to knock out this Remorade, and I'm in an opt. I'm in a pretty good position here where if she wants to set up another attack, she's got to go for a coil because she cannot knock me out otherwise. And all I need to do is play one particular card, and that's all I'm going to do, is I'm going to play... Well, I'll draw a card. So I might have to judge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I can play two cards, that'll be great. If I can get another Vespa Queen, or another Young Mega Break, that will be awesome here. Uh, another thing that would be really bad, though, is another... Uh, Servine getting a paralysis that will slow me down significantly. Very much so. We do see a Skyla though, and what does she go for? What does the Skyla go for? Luna, be good. Goes for a Lysander of her own. She's going to try and stop me from playing through. Um, most of my cards do have a very low retreat cost, so I'm not bothered by that. But it all depends on what they want to do. They did Skylet, there goes the Bursting Balloon, and I get a Combi. Lulu! Sorry guys, just one second. Sorry about that guys, I had to put my kitty cat out, she was starting to get a little rambunctious, she likes her attention. Um, I need to get rid of two cards here. I might just opt to go for the Bursting Balloon, and go for a Judge. This way, I've set myself up for four cards. I have a nice hand, actually, for next turn. I'll be able to heal Mega Break, but I'm not going to do this yet. We're going to go for that Barrier Break, which is super effective. This is going to do 100 damage uh, because of Assault Boom's uh, 
way of not doing resistances, we get another Bursting Balloon, which is amazing. Because that, again, puts a lot of pressure on my opponent. She cannot attack me uh, at the risk of taking 60 damage, which will then put her in range of our Barrier Break. Goes into the Superior. The other thing, too, is at this moment in time, I'm taking a, I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm, I'm forcing her into positions she may not want to do. And, but as long as I can continuously remove some of the cards out of my hand, I'll be in an okay position. So we see the Servine. Will she get another Paralysis here? She can evolve regardless now because of Forest of Giant Plants, even though those two Snavies have been out pretty much since the start of the game. But she does not get the Paralysis, which may matter there. Uh, here goes the Birch. Potentially going for 7, possibly 4. Gets 7! So she gets another full hand of 7. And will we be seeing any more additional cards? She gets the superior onto the second uh, Servine, so we only have one less superior to deal with. Or sorry, we have one more superior to deal with. But I'm not feeling too bad here. I'm in a nice position. Uh, I am two knockouts ahead, and if I can start trying to get those shamans back into my hand or remove them from play, that'll also be good. I want to make it so that if we're going to be doing trades I am at the lead not losing any X for it and again I don't have a problem losing a young mega break because it's just going to fuel Vespa Queen later in this match here comes the coil she actually opted to go for the damage that may not have been the best play uh, we actually got another bursting balloon so we're gonna drop that bursting balloon down and I am going to go for a level ball and I'm going to grab a Vespa Queen. This saves my double colorless energy drop. Don't have to use it, and I'm now down to four cards without having to use the Judge. And I have another Bursting Balloon on, so we are going to go for that Barrier Break. And this should knock out the Superior. We are now three prizes up, which is actually really huge. We got a huge lead on this. We pull a Shaman, which I, I can't play it. I most likely have to opt for a... Well, I have two cards I can play, so it depend It really doesn't matter. Um, but she's in a very bad position. She can go for a Striking Slash, though. And then I can opt to just go for the Unmega uh, Break and the Bursting Balloon again. And we'll be in the same position. She can't poison me, thankfully. That Ariados is not going to do too much in this match. Um, that is why I opted to sacrifice mine as soon as I could. That N is going to be crucial. That N is crucial. Uh, that actually stops a lot of my plays. I don't get the card I'm looking for. I instead get a young Mega. And plays a Bursting Balloon of her own on that Superior. Does she go for the Coil? Because I don't have a problem opting out to sacrifice my young Mega Break at the moment. It'll be a one prize for one of her biggest threats. She'll only have one Snivy left. Goes for a Super Rod, so she'll be able to get those Sur uh, Survines and Superiors back. Probably gaining that entire line back into the deck. <coughs> <coughs> Ops for a Servine Superior and a Grass Energy instead of the Snivy. Maybe, two of, er, maybe one of her lines is locked up in prizes. But there goes the Bursting Balloon. Uh, we are currently going to have to opt for an attack. Because <sighs> all she can do is coil next turn. And then I'll be able to take it out. I can do 120 and then I can just be revenge. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it with an assault boom. I don't mind taking 40. I'm going to... Er, actually, I'll knock myself out here. Oops! That's okay. I'll probably opt to go into my Yamega, presenting the fact that I'll have a Yamega in the back, but in reality, I have one, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon in the discard, which will give me a boost to only 90 damage. Only 90. Uh, Ultra Ball is going to net that Servine, and if I get paral paralyzed, that will be huge. I may have made a huge misplay in this match. I may have made a huge misplay in this match. Uh, goes for the Servine. 
off the Ultra Ball, hoping for the Paralysis here. Again, it's going to be very crucial if she gets it here. 50-50 chance! Do we, do we get it? And she gets the Paralysis. That is going to be huge. I have not drawn my other VS Seeker though, so I could potentially grab a VS Seeker in this next little haul. And I'll be able to pick up this Dion Mega, which will put us in range of what I'm looking to do anyway. She should be going for that coil. She might still be thinking of another play. She might have another Pokemon in hand that could benefit this turn, but she has... I don't think she's gone for supporter yet. Not this turn. Nope, goes for the coil. There we go, 40 damage. Do we get the VS Seeker? I do not. I get a double colorless energy, which is not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing. So we're going to opt to Battle Compress. I'm going to get rid of a, uh, one of those. One of those, and I don't need the other Vespa Queen. Not at this point. So we're gonna opt to eliminate. Uh, the AZ is in the discard pile, correct? Uh, she'll play Matt. Uh, I believe it is. Just double check. Yeah, it's not in here. So these are the cards I'm gonna battle compress out. I am going to opt to go for an Ultra Ball on the. Yeah, Mega and the Sycamore get a Shaman Drop, which is not exactly what I'm looking to do. But we're aiming for a Via Seeker here. Can we get one? No Via Seeker. That's actually huge. Um, I'm going to opt to go for a Bursting Balloon on the on Mega. And that will either knock, that could knock us both out at this range. And that'll be it. That'll be it. I'm not going to waste my turn getting the Omega Break if I'm not going to be able to survive too long here. And even if I got the Break, I would not be in an HP where I could take this next attack. Uh, but the Bursting Balloon will put a huge pressure on this. Um, I cannot be knocked out from a coil. <clears throat> but if she decides to switch, I might be in trouble. But that should be it for Paralysis. I should not have that have that many tricks up that last little bit there. This is becoming a very long and drawn out first game. Grass versus Grass is always pretty quick and at the same point, very stally because some of our residual damages aren't as effective. Now she is going to be able to get another superior out here and this is going to put a lot of pressure on us as there is now two major attackers and yes we do have Vespa Queens in the back, but... But I don't know if we've got the high damage output. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Uh, if our Yamma goes down, that'll be 110. Uh, ops for an N, which is not good for us at all. Floatstone onto the Octillery, which is good for her. And uh, we're going to see a very bad experience here. Unless she does not go for the attack. I'll get four cards, regardless. I'm gonna get four cards, I'm gonna go for that Assault Boom, and I'm gonna knock this thing out. One way or another, I'm gonna at least either knock something out... Stop it. Lady Eon is trying to call me, and unfortunately, I am busy. Unfortunately, I am busy. I'll let her know that I am in the middle of a recording. I don't like doing this in the middle of recording, but I'm probably gonna have to. She obviously is calling me for something. Uh, she, I do apologize, wasn't paying attention to the match, but Curious Cleffa did go for the attack on the Unmega, meaning both Pokemon go down. And I'm actually going to get an opt to go for a knockout on the Superior if she decides to bring it in. And she has to pick first because she did attack and she does go for it. So Vespa Queen's going to be able to come in here and actually knock out the Superior. Uh, I have, I'm just double checking out, 10, 20, 30, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20. I have 140 damage. I don't believe I need to play too much here. 
I am gonna go strictly for that B Revenge, and we should be able to knock out Superior as we do! We are now one prize away from taking this match. Uh, we get a VS Seeker, which means I can go for that Octillery. I did not finish texting. I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, Aridos comes up, but that does not mean too much for us. It goes for a Bursting Balloon on the Aridos, but with the Via Seeker in hand, as long as she doesn't play an N, I will be able to go for that Lysander and grab that Octillery, which will claim this game. And even still, the Bursting Balloon is not going to make me afraid of the Aridos. Via Seeker will go for that N, goes for the N, will drop me down to one card, but again, it doesn't really matter at this moment in the game. Not too much. Plays the N. I'm going to be dropped down to just one card. Just one card, and I get an Ultra Ball, which I definitely cannot play. Uh, goes for the Abyssal Hand here. Looking for some out, but I don't see it here. Uh, just passes the turn, and that should be the game here. We're just going to quickly go for that B Revenge. Knock out this Ariados. We will take 60, but it will not knock out the Vespa Queen. And we will claim victory on game number one. But that doesn't mean anything. That could have been a very big game into her advantage if she could get that superior to work properly. Um, that paralysis, again, is going to be a huge factor in the game two. I really have to be careful. So here we go. Game number two. Who will win? Place your bets right now. Will it be Yon Mega or Superior? We'll be back in just a moment to find out. Alright, game number two is upon us. Curious Cleffa is back in the house! And we are... I should never say that again. Um, Gets the coin flip. We're going to lose this coin flip and she'll be able to go first or second of her choosing. Decides to go first again. Hopefully we can get a nice hand here. We get... Oh. Our opponent had nothing, but we are starting with the problem that we had last time, which is the Spinarak Ariados, and I don't really think they're going to do very much for us here. And all I have is double colorless energy and a Sycamore. This is not a strong hand to go by, but I will be able to get an additional card, which may change this game. That one card, surprisingly, can do a lot. But if she ends me turn one, I'll be alright with that too. Uh, so we have a Spinarak lead. Uh, yes, I'd love to draw an additional card, and it's a Yamega Break. She gets a Snivy off the bat. A Forest of Giant Plants goes down, and a Grass Energy onto Snivy. Uh, does it evolve? She may not have the best of hands. I definitely don't have the best of hands right now. I don't want my hand at all. I love the Double Colorless Energy, but there's only four of them in the deck. Four Energies, period, in the deck. And I don't want them right now. We see a level ball, so this will probably get that Servine. Hoping for that early game para. If so, I will be playing the Aridos to get it out of here. Uh, it does go for the Servine. And has evolved into the mighty first stage. So we do see the Paralysis. Not a big deal. Like I said, uh, we'll be able to evolve and get that Spinarak out of there. Unfortunately, the Spinarak Ariados line that I've been trying to get rid of... Oh! Oh! So, I see you played the end after all. That was a rough start. This is going to be a rough game, guys. Um, we do have a nice little opening here. Not bad. I'll be able to play most of these cards. I'm already paralyzed, so there's not much she can actually hit me with. Um, we get a Omega Break turn one. We're just going to right up evolve here. And you know what? <coughs> I wish I could AZ right now, but I can't. I am going to go for the Sycamore. Uh, the reason I did not go for the AZ is very simple. If I had gone for it, I would not have been able to attack with Yon Mega anyway. Uh, so I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna get rid of this Forest of Giant Plants, and I can start opting to eliminate Pokemon. I have to go for the Ariados here. In order for me to... Oh, I can't switch. Oh, I can place a double colorless energy. It'll be really close if I'll actually be able to attack. Um, tough call. Sick, uh, we'll go with the Omega Break. We're going to go for that area dose. 
It is a one retreat cost, and I am not going to have enough cards to be able to actually attack this turn. <coughs> so I am going to opt we're gonna drop pretty much everything down and in the next turn I'll be able to stick more so let's see how that runs if I can get a VS seeker get the AZ up maybe a shaman pull something out of ourselves here but it's going to be a tough match trying to get ourselves out of the uh, active position with this Ariados. The Survine cannot do much. Not at the moment. We do see an N. So that actually is beneficial for us because we'll be able to get a bunch of cards. Potentially get that VS Seeker and not have to draw our cards. We do get the VS Seeker so we'll be able to go for that Ariados pickup. She just passes the turn. This is actually huge for us. Um, I'm going to opt to go for the... I'm going to go for that AZ. And next turn, I'll be able to just pick up... Or, I'm going to pick up, and I'm going to simply eliminate Eridos from our hand altogether. We're going to put Yum Mega Break up in the front. I do have to play a ton of cards, though. Uh, get ourselves down to 1, 2, 3, 4. So I need to play three more cards. We're going to go for a Battle Compressor here, and I'm going to opt to get rid of one Yunma, Yonma, keep the break, get rid of another Yun Mega, and I think I'm going to throw Lysander in the discard just so that way I have a supporter on deck for pulling all the weaker mons in case it has to come to that. Uh, so I'm going to go for a Bursting Balloon on the main attacker, and I'm going to drop a Combi. This will give us the ability to attack, and I'll be able to knock out the active Servine. Putting us in a very good position, a very solid start after that very despicable starting we had with the Eridos. We are now in a very nice position. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we just have to try and knock out a Servine now, who cannot attack us. Goes for a Bursting Balloon of her own. Goes for a birch, looking for that superior, digging, hunting for that superior. Will she get it? Will she get it? I hope so. I don't like, I don't like just taking it out this early for an, uh, an opponent. Uh, it's not very nice to see it. I like seeing matches that are very one on, like, they're close. Uh, we do see an Ultra Ball. This means that she'll be able to go for that Superior. Definitely being able to survive the next attack. Uh, but doing so, I'm starting to get a few Pokemon in the discard pile. And if your Mega Break goes down, so be it. My Vespa Queens will be able to come in and be able to knock out my good old friend. Uh, so we do see the Superior get the Evolution off here. Do they go for the coil? That would be a very bad play right now, as I'll be able to do 120 damage and be able to knock out the superior. Thank you. They did not go for it. But I get another Bursting Balloon. So we are going to drop that Bursting Balloon down. We're going to actually just play a Combi. We have four Combis on deck. We have not even pulled a Shaman yet. And at this point, we're going to hit that thing for 120 damage. I am not afraid of of being hit. I'm just gonna say it now. I have a Vespa Queen coming. Unless she gets a Snivy this turn, I think I've got this. Like I said, I'm not threatened by this, and she is gonna either knock herself out by attacking me, or she has to let me take it out. She does get a Birch of seven cards though, so Birch is definitely on her side here. Grabs a Remorade, she will not be losing this game anytime soon, which is good. I didn't want to see this game end. So we see another Snivy. I'll be playing that Snivy, and are we going to go for an evolution? No, we're just going to go for an energy drop on the superior. Will you go for the attack? It would be a good idea to go for the attack. Well, is it? You're not really in a position to attack me. And I have four combis ready to go at any moment here. Um, and I'll be able to stick more up, giving me a full hand as well, depending on the card I draw. These Bursting Balloons are coming very clutch. Uh, she will knock herself out here. As does my uh, Mega Break, though. And I'm going to take this prize right here, which is a Shaman. I don't really need it, to be honest with you. 
has to lead Amon right now. And all I need to do is evolve. And like I said, I have an Ultra Ball in my hand, so I'm in a very good position here. I'll be able to remove... I don't even have to go for the Ultra Ball because I just happen to draw it. What a top deck that is. We're going to place that down right there. And... At this moment in time, I might just Ultra Ball to get another... I get a little bit more damage, get rid of these Spinner Axe and Aerodos like I've been trying to do all game, and we're going to get ourselves another Vespa Queen. Get both of them going. And I'm actually going to opt to just use the Sycamore and not use the Shaman. The Shaman will now add additional damage to the Vespa Queen as I get another Bursting Balloon here, which is going to be huge. I know she can't attack. But I'm going for an all-out damage here. 111 dam or 110 damage means that Snivy is going to go down, and all she is left with is currently a Remor Raid. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on this game very early, very clutch. Well, I wouldn't say early. We stalled out turn two. But as of turn three, we just got a really lucky hand and we're able to get into the right momentum. It was, it was, it was pretty decent. Um, the Abyssal Hand is not going to be able to help her out here. She's still got five cards. Um, plays a Bridget, so she's going to be looking for any basics she's got left in there. Uh, but unfortunately, you've got three Snivvies currently locked in the discard pile, and it's going to be very, very close to whether or not you're going to get that, that next superior up. Especially since you don't have a lot of time. You ended up having three Pokemon still in the deck so we are going to a full six card prize i cannot go for a superior right now or a sycamore um we're gonna see the abyssal hand potential paralysis and she gets it beautiful play beautiful play beautiful play she just she just saved herself there i think that that is going to be a huge turn of events uh, we have the ability to go for a Yama Yamega. I'm gonna drop a double colorless energy down on another Combi, going for a third Vespa Queen here. Again, I have all the utilities I need to keep ourselves in a great momentum. And she's got five cards. I don't really need to go for an end at the moment. She has not got her best hand. I'm just gonna opt to end the turn. She needs to find a floatstone, and I don't want to give her that luxury with an N. If I can take out an Octillery, I'm going to. Uh, but that is going to be the final superior, unless she can full, uh, unless she can find the Super Rod. Now she's got two instances of Abyssal Hand here. Got a little bit of hot, but. Little bit of heartburn. She's in a tough spot. One of those auxiliaries will be able to go for an abyssal hand, and that'll be for sure. We go for a VS Seeker. Do we see an end here? We do. We do see an end, which, <coughs> again, for me is fine. <coughs> I'm not in a bad position here. I have a very good board position, I have a high damage output, and I get an Ultra Ball into a Sycamore into a VS Seeker, so if I want, I can pretty much do anything. We see Professor's Letter netting her two more energies, which will be two grass. The Snivy or the Servine now has another energy drop. If she does not get the Superior though, I am going to be able to via Seeker Lysander up that uh, Servine and it's going to matter because all the other Pokemon have no effects. So if she doesn't have the superior right now, I will be going for that Servine and we will knock it out. And it'll be very hard for her to come back. Just goes for an Abyssal Hand. We've only knocked out one superior so far. Uh, and there is still one Snivy somewhere. It's on the board. Silly me. Uh, there are three superiors somewhere in this deck though. Uh, we see a level ball. That's not going to matter too much. It's just going to grab that Ariados, which again isn't going to do too much against us. Being as we are a grass type deck, Ariados is very weak in this matchup. Uh, that's why we opted to get rid of them the first game and Ultra Ball both of them away in this game. Uh, we do see the evolution here. And we are ready to see a Floatstone on the Ariados. Not a big deal. It goes for another Abyssal Hand. We see two more cards come up. You should have played a Floatstone on the active Octillery. Uh, goes for an Ultra Ball, 
going for Superior. Uh, our total damage count is going to be uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so only 110. I cannot knock out... I cannot knock out a Superior right now. But she can't switch. She's locked in there. Locked and loaded. Um... I think this is the time I go for a Shaman. Do I go for a Shaman? Yeah, I think Shaman's my best play. Get myself some card draw here. There we go! Got a few more cards to work with. I got a couple VS Seekers. No Pokemon though. So we are going to go for some level balls. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have no way to get rid of them. What am I talking about? I can go for a Sycamore here. Um, I can only go for a Yanma. I'm trying out damage right now. Uh, we have no more. Oh, we... No, we have not via secret yet. You know what? I'm going to hold on to them. I know it's a weird play, but I'm going to go for the bee revenge and take out the artillery exactly how she wants me to... She just... I, I'm literally falling into her trap right now, but... At the same point, if I lose an if I lose a Vespa Queen, it's all right. I have two more, and once one goes down, I'll be in range to take out Superior. I have three forests of giant plants in my hand that are useless right now. It is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the two is only 110. Goes for a Lysander here, pulls up the Shaman! He's gonna go for a knockout, just a coil, just a coil. So I have a Via Seeker, I can just up that one into my hand, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So we're gonna go for a Via Seeker here, and I need to go for the AZ. Done. And we're gonna pick it up. I don't want that on the field at all. You can't have it. I'm going to opt to put the fourth double colorless energy on my combi, and I'm just looking for a Vespa Queen to cover that up. Um, I'm going to go for a B Revenge. I will not knock it out. It's at 110. Uh, but this is the last attacker she's got, unless she pulls a Super Rod. Mind you, it's very close, but that Super Rod could be prized, and that could matter huge right now. She's only down... We're both really close. Goes for a Bursting Balloon. Does not bother me. I don't have a problem going down if it means taking out your last attacker. Uh, damage increased by 140. Down goes Vespa Queen. That's alright. That is alright. That's okay. Now I know my damage is increased. Um, I might actually opt to save my Vesper Queen's HP and go for a Lysander. And we're gonna pull up that Octillery. We're gonna just take a nice easy prize, not take damage, because now she's out of range of being able to knock us out this turn. There we go, we get a Revitalizer. Not that we need it, but we are down to one prize, and this is going to be probably the final turns of the match. She has no way of knocking out Vespa Queen. She only does a maximum of 80 damage unless she drops a Muscle Band. I do know she run. I do believe we've seen them in that deck. So we can see Muscle Band as the item of choice, and that will knock me out with a Slashing Strike, but I'll have the Vespa Queen to come up and revenge after. Otherwise, she's in a very bad position. Uh, goes for the Slashing Strike, does 80 damage, but does not 
have the ability to knock me out. This is going to be game here. Good job, or good game to Curious Cleffa. Fantastic, uh battle here but unfortunately on Mega Break Vespa Queen just has so much more raw power behind it. The Omega may not have it initially but it's so fast to set up so versatile to keep playing and then v Vespa Queen only needs a double colorless energy and can do massive damage if you've set up your deck properly so thank you once again Curious Cleffa that was a fantastic match I hope you enjoyed it I did enjoy it myself um we are going to be probably looking at uh, Volcanion EX as our next deck for next week, whether it be, depending on how everything works out, guys. Um, whether it be next week or the following, I don't, it'll depend on my work schedule if I can continuously keep both TCGO and Showdown Battles going. So we will see how next week goes, but for today, know that Volcanion EX is coming and that will be one of our next decks. So until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Curious Cleffa and then We'll see you next time. But until then, time outs.